We're at the airport. A little early, so just hanging out, getting some water while waiting for our flight. Got into LA, landed, went to the hotel, got our car that we're renting with Turo, and now heading up Rodeo Drive to do a little bit of shopping while we're here. Just finished up our shopping, went to Tom Ford and a few other places, and now heading to our dinner reservations at 208 Rodeo. All right, so day one in LA is slowly wrapping up. Probably gonna hit the pool before bed. But we got here about noon after we got off our flight and then took a Uber to the hotel, got our rental car and I've been driving that around, went to Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, did some shopping there and then went to dinner and then came back here. And even though it's only like six miles away, it takes you like 45 minutes to get there each way just because of LA traffic. So that is what consumed the majority of our day here. But uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit tired with the whole time change and everything. So. Probably gonna, like I said, hit the pool, maybe wander around. Oh yeah, here's the view out our window. You can see the El Capitan Theater right down there on the Hollywood Boulevard and all of Los Angeles out there. So yeah, we shall see what tomorrow brings. And yes, in case you're wondering, I did bring protein shakes on this trip. In fact, I brought eight protein shakes because we're going to be gone for eight days and every single day I want to make sure I'm hitting my protein and given that most of my meals today consisted of things like Biscoff crackers on an airplane, Cheez-Its on an airplane, a burger and fries, basically stuff that has not a lot of protein to it. I want to make sure I'm topping up and hitting my protein macros every single day, just like you saw in the cruise vlog and in the Chicago vlog. This is important to me, so every time I travel, I always bring protein shakes. And also, also, I love these ones, the chocolate muscle milk 32 gram shakes, because they taste delicious, they're full of really high quality protein, and there is not a lot of other sources of calories in these. I mean, you have two grams of fat, seven grams of carbs, and 32 grams of protein. So if you're trying to just top up your protein macros, it makes it really easy to do with these. You can actually find a link down to purchase these on Amazon in the description. I'm not sponsored by them, but I may get a slight commission if you purchase via that link. So if you wanna help me out, feel free to do that. But yeah, these are the protein shakes that I'm currently really liking for travel right now because they're super easy to pack taste delicious and work really well and are healthy and high quality protein. So check them out in the link down in the description. All right, so it is the morning of day two here in Los Angeles and uh, we're going to be going for a little bit of a scenic drive this morning. Just woke up a little bit ago, did some stretching because I sort of slept on my shoulder weird and my whole back felt like it was out of alignment. So got that fixed. Uh, now Elizabeth's just getting ready and we're going to head down to our Jaguar and drive that around and uh, the Angeles Crest Highway and Tuhunga Canyon Road, just do some scenic canyon driving to test it out and have a little bit of fun this morning and then maybe hit up Muscle Beach this afternoon. We're gonna do that either today or tomorrow and then later head up to Malibu and just kinda see where the day takes us. So should be fun and uh, I'm sure we'll have a good time. All right, so let's talk meal plan for today. My idea is I think I'm going to basically fast while we're doing our morning drive. Um, just, you know, give my body a chance to burn some calories and stave off my appetite till a little bit later in the day. And uh, then when we get back and have opportunity to eat some lunch, I'll definitely eat a higher protein lunch and maybe have a protein shake. Um, and then we're gonna go driving around, go up to Malibu, and I think we're gonna try to stop and find a nice seafood restaurant for dinner tonight in Malibu. So I'll have a nice big dinner, maybe some you know, shellfish or fresh fish or lobster or something like that, something higher protein, but also kind of decadent that's gonna really fill me up and feel good. And then overall, that'll be basically my calories for the day. Maybe some little snack later this evening to get a little bit of extra protein in before bed, but that's basically the idea. And so, you know, 
Nutrition doesn't have to be this huge, big pain when you're on vacation. The simple act of doing intermittent fasting when you're traveling not only makes your day start sooner and makes things a lot more convenient and saves you money, especially when your hotel doesn't have a free breakfast, but it also just allows you to eat more in your later meals when you really want to be eating, when you're really hungry at lunch and dinner, and allows you to be able to do more things and just uh, you know not have to worry about your caloric intake that much. Even if you're not, you know, on this trip, I'm not specifically tracking my nutrition every single day. I'm just trying to basically make sure because I've become pretty accustomed to knowing roughly how many calories I've consumed based on how I feel. Um, and so, you know, when I'm just taking a week long vacation, I can afford to kind of be plus or minus a couple hundred every day and not really worry about it. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. We'll see how that turns out. So here we are on the Angeles Crest Highway, just parking at an overlook to take in the amazing surroundings. It is just awesome here. And driving is a ton of fun, getting to just toss the car around some really nice tight banked turns and enjoy all that the mountain scenery has to offer. We're only like a third of the way up and then we come all the way back down Big Tahunga Canyon Road, so we got some driving ahead of us, but it's going to be fun, so let's keep going. So we finished up our scenic canyon drive this morning and then we got lunch at a wonderful sushi restaurant in Santa Monica. I want to say it was called Hamasaku, I believe is what it was called. We have the H, I don't know. Something like that. And uh, if I'm wrong, Good. correct me in the comments down below because I feel really bad for immediately forgetting how to spell the name. But anyway, it was really good sushi, got sort of the chef's choice sampler platter of different uh, nigiri rolls and a bunch of different kinds of fishes that I got to try and it was fantastic. You got uh, like a cooked tempura crab roll, which was really I had to get cooked, well. so. Yeah, Elizabeth had to get cooked because she's got a baby That's in fine. The oven. <laughs> It was warm sushi, which is kind of weird, but it was good. Oh, yeah, so no no raw fish for her, but a nice, high-protein, tasty, delicious, refreshing lunch. And now we are driving up to Point Dume in Malibu to go check out the beach and see how beautiful it is up there. Since California's had so much rain recently and finally broken their long drought, all of these hills that used to be pretty much desert or scrubland are now just completely covered in flowers and vegetation, so we came at a good time. All right, now that we got back from Malibu, it is time to hit the hotel gym 
and do a little leg workout because even when you're on vacation, you cannot skip leg day. And that is how you do a leg workout in half an hour with no barbells. And now it's time to go get some ice cream. <laughs> no, no, what are we getting? <laughs> ice cream. When are we getting it? Yeah. Yeah. So we just got done with the Warner Brothers studio tour and unfortunately they don't really allow many videos to be taken in there so most of the shots I have of it are in picture form so let's do a little slideshow right now. So that was a lot of fun. What did we all get to see? We got to see the old Friends Central Perk set, which is really fun. We saw the current shooting stage for the last season of Big Bang Theory. We saw the Ellen set. Um, went around the whole back lot and saw like houses from Gilmore Girls, Pretty Little Liars, a bunch of old uh, James Dean movies and James Cagney movies. Uh, just uh, the Central Square from The Music Man and lots of different, sort of like New York and Chicago streets and got to see Batmobiles and well you saw the whole thing, it was really cool. But uh, now we are up here going to Griffith Observatory and then after that we're going to hit up Muscle Beach for a nice outdoor workout on this beautiful sunny day. So let's go.
guys, we are back in the hotel room after a long day of sightseeing and Muscle Beach and all that. Last night here in LA, unfortunately, but the fortunately part is that tomorrow evening we fly out for Honolulu in Oahu, and that is going to be where we start next week's vlog, so make sure to check in and check us out there. Have a good one, guys. Good night.